Greetings, listener. I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network. Playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. Snowplow Show. Snowplow Show. Snowplow Show. Snowplow Show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow Show. Roy. What? Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder. <laughs> okay. Ro bo bo sha bo 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 what the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. Oh, my wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. asshole. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> Bob Dabalina. What's this? Bitch, asshole. Don't fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Bird finder? Fucked in the ass. Thank you, Joe DeVita, for that intro song. Hey, everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad. This is the show where we call up people and we mildly inconvenience them with a bunch of confusion and stuff. Today is May 9th, 2020, and this show is brought to you by Crooked Alligator Riding Digital, Gobi Icelandic Potato, and 4OC TV Hobos. I'm trying to figure out if there's a secret meaning behind that name. There probably is, and I'm just not getting it, but whatever. Thanks for being a supporter. Were you a supporter last month? Because it says you were, but I don't remember ever reading your name before. Maybe you changed your name. By the way, everyone, did you know you can change your name in Patreon to anything you want? It's pretty easy to do. Just go on Patreon and look around and figure out how to do it, I guess. I don't know how to do it. I know other people do it, and I assume it's really easy. There's some new people who've signed up on Patreon, like Derek S., Zachary W., Anthony R., Jonathan, Ryan Z., Dylan M., Brian, Troy Gerbil, Sean S., Ahmed C., George H., Casey Deeply, Van, and Ryan M. Thank you, all you new people, for signing up. Oh, I missed this one because he put a weird amount in. Also new to the Patreon is president of the Dayton, Ohio Association of Flying Rocket Powered Snowplow Pilots. Luckily, he's not a sponsor, so I don't have to say that name all the time because that would suck. Please don't become a sponsor, sir. That'd be too much effort for me. Thank you for the stuff, everybody. I haven't said thanks for sending me things in a while. Like Omni sent me a cable that I've already hooked up to my payphone setup. It lets me take Skype calls. That's been on my wish list forever. I've just been lazy about buying it myself. But I was able to eliminate a lot of just weird connectors and adapters with that thing. Thanks, Omni. Also, thanks, Paul, for the Christmas card that I just got. Not sure when you sent it, but I just got it. And an anonymous person sent me some fluorescent colored uh, Dymo labels. You know, those embossed label things that old people use. That's what I use to label my mixer and everything. Now I have some fluorescent colors. And then uh, Shannon and Michael sent me drawings of myself and King Richard and Olga and I Regret Jumping. I assume I'm supposed to send the pictures of Olga and King Richard and everyone else to themselves. I will do that very soon. I need to scan some of these in, though, and use them as show art. They're pretty awesome. And finally, Mr. Biggs, he sent me a space wrench from NASA. And I suck for not making a video of this thing yet. He has a request with the space wrench that he sent me, and that is that he really wants me to do some Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton calls from the International Space Station. So I want to do it when I do that. I really would like to do some more space station calls because those were always fun. It was just crazy that people would believe them. I'll be doing that soon, Mr. Biggs, I promise. And I got to show you guys the space wrench. It's pretty amazing. The thing that he sent it in. 
Uh, one last important thing, if you're one of those people that reads magazines still, a guy from a magazine interviewed me and King Richard and I forget who else in our community. He talked about Dragonmere, I know that. It's an article about prank calls and he mentions the official rules of prank calling on phonelosers.com. Uh, he talks to Ownage Pranks. It's a big article. Everybody should go and read this. I would read it myself, but it's really long. The title of it is COVID-19 Pranksters Promise They're Just Trying to Bring a Little Comic Relief to the Pandemic. It's a fun read. Also, speaking of King Richard's prank call show, which is called Another Prank Call Show, he was recently interviewed on AM Radio. Wait, no, maybe it was FM. That's not as fun to make fun of. But he was interviewed on the radio. If you go listen to his show, which is at anotherprankcallshow.com, you can hear the stuff that was played on the radio about him. I think maybe you have to be a subscriber to listen to that stuff. Maybe, but it's pretty amusing. And, you know, shit's getting pretty serious around here. We're all getting interviewed in magazines and being featured on the radio. Things are really happening for us. Next thing you know, we'll be in a newspaper. Let's do some requests today. I have a request here from Arbitrary Alex. He sent it four days ago. He said, I found this website on a washroom toilet paper dispenser in a Safeway. It led me to a rabbit hole and I found the guy's Twitter. It looks like he has multiple. He's a conspiracy theorist, it seems like. I've always wanted to send you a number after all this time. I don't know this guy, but I did call him. Should have used my PBX just to see if it's active. It, uh, it has some guy's WordPress site or I guess his email address at wordpress.com that's weird and i probably shouldn't read it out you know it's just just another conspiracy guy they're all the same and alex also sent me a picture of his profile on something is that twitter oh yeah that's twitter and he has his phone number on twitter but he spells out one of the numbers to throw off the illuminati very smart they'll never figure that out but here let me switch on the international space station and we'll give walt a call Hello? Oh, hello, Walt? Hello? Uh, hi, Walt. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, just hold on a second. Okay. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, Sorry about that. yeah I can hear you. There might, there might be a delay. I'm, I'm actually calling you from the International Space Station. This is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm an astronaut. Okay. Uh, we're going to be, you know, the space station's passing over your house in a minute. We're going to be uh, beaming microwaves down at your house uh, just for about 15 okay. minutes. Just for about 15 minutes as we pass over. Okay. Uh, you, you might notice your light's kind of dim and you'll hear like a humming sound. But, I mean, don't worry, everything's safe. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much for the phone call. Okay, it'll just be in your house, you know, so if you want to go hang out at a neighbor's. Um, just, like, don't use the microwave, because that'll mess with the polarity of the experiment. Okay. And, uh, do you have any pets? Yeah, I have five dogs and a cat. Okay, they'll be fine. Uh, there's horses outside, too. Oh, yeah, we're, we're just concentrating mainly on your house. Just the house itself. Okay, why are you concentrating on the house, if I may ask? Uh, it's just an experiment. Uh, it's something we're doing with SpaceX. Very hush-hush. But, uh, you know, it's completely, okay. completely safe. Uh, um, I, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but, like, the, the amount of energy that we're sending down there, it, it might make ghosts visible. I mean, if there, okay. happen, if there happens to be any ghosts in your house, which there's probably not. I mean, the odds are pretty low. Uh, uh, okay, sure. Yeah, there, there, Have could, fun. there, there could be ghosts in your house. So sorry about that. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Bye for now. Okay, well, you having a good day? We're going to start in about 20 minutes. Okay. You having a good day? Bye. What, what are you doing today? Nothing, just hanging out. Oh, what, what are you, are you watching television? Yep. What, what are you watching on television? Just some show. I'm not really sure. Just looking oh. through the channels. I see. Do, do you have uh, cable or uh, satellite? Satellite. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's probably going to go out for a minute, you know, just with the high-intensity energy we're beaming down at your house. Okay. 
but but it'll just be for. Well, good luck with your good luck with your experiment. Okay, uh, love you. Uh, uh, okay, bye. See you back. See you, love me. I'm an astronaut. Uh, nope. You have to do what I say. I I'm have an no idea who you are. Goodbye. I'm Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. Well, shit. That conspiracy guy was way too smart to to fall for the old international space station trick thing. Sorry, Arbitrary Alex, I tried. Now I just want to call him back as Safeway and say, Hey, we saw your information on our toilet paper dispenser thing, and we don't appreciate it. But nope, I am not allowed to impersonate Safeway anymore. I mean, my court documents don't say I can't impersonate Safeway anymore. I probably could, but yeah, probably, probably a bad idea. Not going to do that. Here's a request from Roderick. He wants me to call all the Whataburgers. He says Whataburger has these practice health inspectors they call audits from a company named blah, blah, blah. They just come in and act as if they were health inspectors to make sure they are ready. Oh, so practice health inspections. I get it. That's a good idea. Now, due to COVID, they are doing all of their audits over the security camera. The phone will ring. They will say the grill person is using the wrong color spatula. What? Is that a health issue? The wrong color spatula? Or someone didn't wash their hands long enough? Everyone is paranoid and it's weird, but you can call any Whataburger saying you just did an audit over the cameras. Hey, maybe I could get a manager to believe that an employee stole something and get them to take that employee into the office and strip search the employee and make them jump up and down naked Sorry, just kidding. I wouldn't do that. That's a real story, though, if you haven't heard that one. I won't do that, though. Let's call up a Whataburger, do some quick audits. Thank you for calling Whataburger. Amanda, how can I help you? Hey, Amanda, this is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Whataburger. Yes. Yes, sir. Is this the manager? I'm actually the GM. Okay, great. Um, we, we just did an audit via the security cameras. Uh-huh. And we noticed that none of the employees there have their socks pulled up. Really? Could you announce real quick for everyone to pull up their socks, please? Pull up their socks? Yeah, nobody's pulled up their socks. You know, we can see we have the, the filters and the see through the... We, we can see that their socks aren't pulled up. <laughs> Is this a joke? Oh, no. No, I wouldn't kid about this. It's, that's in, it's in the, the employee like handbook. Like their socks on their feet. Yeah, I hope they're wearing socks. They have to wear socks. But they also need to be pulled up. They need to pull up their socks too. I mean, everybody, <laughs> like everybody, can you just announce real quick? All I don't want to do that because then we're going to have to all wash our hands again. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. You, you'll pull up your socks and wash your hands. Um. <laughs> Re okay, ready, set, hey, go. Hey guys! <laughs> uh, guys, uh, pull up your socks. <laughs> I don't know. That's what they tell me. To Why? Because <laughs> it's in the damn rule book. Tell them that. Use the D, use the D okay. word too. Okay. <laughs> Are they doing it? No. I'm, yeah, they're I'm, looking I'm, at me like I'm crazy. I'm looking on the cameras right now, and I see that they're not doing it. Can you ask them to please pull up their socks? <laughs> Let me like give me just a second. Can, can you just say real quick? Look, everyone, I'm serious. Pull up your socks. Let me call my AM real quick. No, no, just like go back in there where the employees are <laughs> and have them pull up their damn socks. No. <laughs> real quick. Well, shit. It's not working, Roderick. Let me try another one. Thank you for calling Whataburger. How can I help you? Hey there, this is Steve Dave from Hello. the co corporate office with Whataburger. Hello? Um, yes. Is this a manager? No, but I can get her real quick. That'd be or, or actually, um, are you are you there with a bunch of other employees? What's I'm all, sorry. What's all that ruckus? Um, some of the employees are being kind of loud. Okay, <laughs> can you announce to them real quick that they need to pull up their socks? We just did an audit through the security cameras, uh -huh. and we noticed nobody's pulled up their socks. Pulled up their what? Socks. You know, socks and shoes. They nobody's pulled up their socks. Okay. Could could you just quickly announce while I'm on the phone for everyone to pull up their socks? All right. Um, everybody needs to pull up their socks. Corporate look in the camera so they haven't done that. And also, quit 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 with all the ruckus. Can you tell them to quit with all the ruckus? 
Hello? Hello, who's this? This is Yolanda. Oh, hey, Yolanda. Is this the manager? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, it's Steve Day from the corporate office with Whataburger. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, we, we just did an audit through the security cameras. We noticed nobody had their socks pulled up. Socks? Yeah, you know, socks and shoes. Could, could, you ask, yeah. could you ask everyone real quick to pull up their socks? Because nobody's pulled up their socks. Ma'am? I'm, I'm looking and everybody has, how can you see their socks? Because Oh, we, we uh, you know, like the, the, the security cameras, they have the infrared vision and uh -huh. black pants filters and all that stuff. Uh huh. So anyway, could you um could you ask everyone to pull up their socks real quick? Tell them it's very serious. Guys, pull up your socks. Pull up your socks. This is corporate. He said, "Pull up your socks." You, you really have an pull up your socks. You, you really have an employee there saying why to you? You need to get those yeah. get those motherfuckers in line. Are you from corporate talking to me like that? Well, I'm just saying, you know, you give an order, they need to follow the order. They don't need to, to ask for reasons. Yeah, but I that's, don't think you should have called them that. That's like the time. That's rude. That's like the time that I, I told you about the socks, and you're like, eh, how can you see through their pants? But believe me, we can see everything. We can see the color of their underwear and all that. Okay, so you're not corporate talking to me like that, and you're not going to talk to me like that. Bye. Ma'am. Ma'am, that place is out of control. Employees all running around and screaming and stuff with their socks just hanging around their ankles. I hope they all wash their hands after they touch their socks because apparently that's a thing you have to do. But there you go, Roderick. I called two of them. Actually, I called three. The first one was a bunch of bullshit. The girl was pretending she couldn't hear me, so I'm just going to delete that one. But that's a good tip that Whataburger does audits from the security cameras now i kind of want to just do an entire show of that or wasted memory are you listening on your show this tuesday you should call up all of the whataburgers and do security camera audits that would be a lot of fun i'd love to hear what wasted memory and dragon mirror can come up with for that or any other prank calls out there what a fun idea i should do a, an entire show of just making managers announce insane things to employees i really should do that sometime soon I'll probably forget, but maybe after the pandemic or something, when people aren't so uptight about washing their hands after they touch their socks. Whataburger, how, how can I help you? Hey there, this is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Whataburger. Yes, sir. Hey, is this the manager? Mm-hmm. Uh, we just did an audit over the security cameras. Mm-hmm. And we noticed not a single employee has pulled up their socks. Could you, could you announce to everyone real quick to just pull up their socks? I'm sorry. I'm having trouble understanding what you're saying. Oh, your socks. Nobody has their socks pulled up. Could you announce really quick to all of the employees, just as loud as you can, all employees, please. Hello? Pull, hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Why are you pretending you can't hear me? Hello? Yeah, yeah, good acting. I almost believe that you really can't hear me. Hello? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're doing good there. I'm writing this in my report. Hello? Oh, look, the next request in order would be the, uh, the dog thing from Mongolian Guy. I was calling those on the hobo sode last night, but I'm almost done with the list. I may as well just finish it up real quick. I bet you none of these people are going to answer anyway. Let me change my phone number to Tim Henson's from Distorted View because, of course, I want him to get all the angry callbacks from this. What was I doing on the Hobo Sode? Oh, yeah, I was telling people I'm going to put gravel in their yard. That really pissed off some people on yesterday's Hobo Sode. Or yesterday, I think it was Wednesday's Hobo Sode, maybe. I've been terrible at getting the shows out lately. Hello? Hi, Gary? Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Steve Dave from the... Uh huh. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to tell you to shut up. Shut up. Yeah, just shut up. About what? Just about everything. Why don't you just shut up and hang up your damn phone? 
I don't understand the question, Dale. <laughs> well, he, he, it's, oh, he hung up the phone because he didn't understand. I couldn't do the gravel thing with him because he has a P.O. box. So let's try Lisa. What? We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. What? Please. I dialed that right. That was a working phone number before, so I don't know what happened to it. Uh, we got one more number on the list that is not a P.O. box. Oh, and by the way, that is the first call I've made on this list where I actually pretended to be with the dog club thing. This girl's name is Chris. Hello. D. The number you have reached is five four. We're not able to take your call right now, but if you leave a number, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you and have a great day. That's an answering machine, isn't it? Hi, uh, Christy. Pick up the phone. It's Steve Dave. Christy. 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 Jesus Christ, Jane. I don't know why she's doing that. Hello. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up, pick up. Oh my gosh. Cri Christy. Yes. It's Steve Dave from the, the. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. That's good. Uh, Roy wanted me to give you a message. Okay. Uh, Roy, uh, I wrote it down on a post-it. It says to shut up. <laughs> me? I'm supposed to shut up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> What's that for? I don't know. It's between you and Roy. I'm just the messenger. Okay. But you just you just need to shut up, okay? Just shut up. <laughs> that's not likely to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's probably why he had to write the post-it. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, have a nice day. All right, thanks. Bye. Don't Bye. forget to shut up. What are you pushing buttons for? She's sitting there trying to figure out my caller ID while I was still on the phone. Well, that's the end of the dog list, I guess. Thank you, Mongolian guy, for sending this in. We had a lot of really good calls from this list. Sorry I didn't impersonate the uh, actual dog people very much, except when I told people to shut up. I need to do a whole show of just telling people to shut up. That sounds like fun. Maybe that should be today's show. It's going to tell people to shut up. Here's one from Vernon. He wants me to call up Ryan. This one is time sensitive because he always has a new phone number. He's in and out of prison constantly. He just moved to Oregon with his mom. I can't prank Oregon. Come on. That's local. I mean, I, his phone number is an Arkansas phone number, so I guess it's okay for me to prank Oregon. Just this once. Vernon says he's been in jail off and on forever. He is 38-ish. He rides a bicycle, no job, drugs, etc possible ideas he found his bike so say you left it at walmart and it has gps on it he cut the chain what so it's like he lost his bike it says he found his bike so say you left it at walmart or did i find his bike i'm so confused anyway idea number two offer him a glory hole job and idea number three snake eyes say you are at walmart and he rolled by giving you snake eyes he's a buddy of mine he will get so mad Okay. Hello? You are receiving a call from an inmate at the Chili Pepper Correctional Facility in Roy, New Mexico. <laughs> to accept this call, press 1. To block your number from receiving future calls, press 2. Shit. Well, that fucked everything up. Ryan. Hello? Hey, I found I found your bike. I left it at the Walmart. Did you use it? What? Who is this? Who uh, is this? It's, it's Steve Dave. Huh? It's Steve Dave. I cut the chain. I found your bike. I didn't have... What? I didn't have my bike. Well, I didn't have it locked up. Somebody had it locked up. I found it. So I, I just cut the chain and took off with it. I know it's yours. Is it? Does it have green handle? What color is it? Uh, it's the one with GPS on it, right? No, it's mine's a trick. Oh shit! I just stole someone's bike. Who is this? Uh, this is Steve Dave. Hey, um, you know you were at Walmart. What? Remember when you were at Walmart? What? what? Where do I know you from? Uh, from Walmart. 
You just stole someone's bike? <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to. I, you, do you remember when you were at the Walmart and you kept giving me snake eyes? No. Uh, well, you were, re- you were. You were just like giving give me snake eyes the whole time. I don't. I, I really don't remember. I, I honestly don't remember that. <laughs> okay. How well, do you even get my number? Uh, you know, I looked it up on the internet. You look at it. You look my phone number on the internet. Yeah, I got. I got like they got your whole profile up there. <sighs> I'm look- just, this is weird. Why is it weird? What are you talking about? I I don't know. I just <laughs> that. <laughs> are you Mark? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the bathroom. I work the glory hole. Um, are you looking for a job right now? You work the glory hole? Yes, in the bathroom. Uh. <laughs> are, are you still no, looking? I'm good, dude. Are you still looking for uh, a job? What, what kind of job are you talking about? A uh, glory hole attendant? Uh, no. Why not? Be- <laughs> dude. They're mostly young guys. It's it's pretty hot. <laughs> oh no well at least he answered again after the whole chili pepper thing let me try him one more time hey i'm going to call the jail and let them know what you're doing no listen hey so. this is carol i'm with the i'm the general manager here at walmart okay uh steve dave told me you might be interested in a position here um i seriously like Y'all, y'all are messing with me right now, and I'm really not on a level. I'm off my meds. I really need y'all to just, I really need y'all to stop messing with me right now. Okay, but, I, you I know, can't. like, you shouldn't have anything against people that work at a glory hole. It's, a, I, it's good employment. Hey, you know what? Y'all think this is really cool on the phone? I bet y'all wouldn't fucking say this shit to my face. Probably I not. I really bet you motherfuckers wouldn't fucking confront me right motherfucking now what why 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 do you say that i you know what hey i bet i wish i wish y'all would come and fucking do this shit to my face i don't want to i don't want to get beat up no no come on i don't i don't want to do this no i'll let no we can handle this arkansas style what does that mean is that like a gay thing yeah yeah sure is damn right (laughs) all right thanks for that one vernon that was weird. Oh, here's an old request from Toiny Toiny, who wants me to prank his neighbors. They're all working from home. They're very dependent on the internet at the moment. I don't know if you guys remember me calling these people. I don't remember exactly what happened with any of them, but I was telling them all that I was going to shut off their internet because they're all with the same weird ISP. So I have two numbers left on this list that didn't pick up back when I did that show. Let's give them a call and see if they pick up. Hello. Hi, Patricia. Who's calling? It's Karen. I, I live here on the street with you. You live on the street with me? Yeah. yeah. Me, me, me and Brad. Brad and Karen. <laughs> uh, forgive me, but which house are you in on the street? Uh, we're at 16716. Anyway. 16716. Yeah. One six seven one six. What? What's the street? On huh? On no, so- I'm sorry. You had the wrong number. No, I you don't. The wrong number. Patricia, I'm your neighbor. It's Karen. You did not mention my street. You didn't give me the name of my street. I said road. Um, you- I, I am so sorry I'm ringing a blank and I asked you what street and you didn't give me the name. I did I get too! So many telemarketer, I get so many telemarketer calls, this is not... Okay, I'm not a telemarketer, I'm your goddamn neighbor, Patricia. I live on f- road, like three houses down. I don't live on that road, that is not my street. Okay, well you don't have to yell at me, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not yelling. Just gonna ask for You're a goddamn cup of sugar. What the hell? Okay, I guess I'm officially done with that list. She doesn't live there anymore, Tony Tony. But she had to be all weird about it. I do have Brad and Karen's number also, but they weren't answering before. Sorry, the mailbox is... Yeah, they're still not picking up, and they didn't pick up last time either, so I guess I'm done with this list. Thanks, Tony Tony, for sending this in about a month ago. 
I didn't mean to talk as Carol, by the way. I had the voice on still from something else I was trying earlier. That was an accident. Okay, next request. It's by someone named Mimo. He wants me to call Margaret. She's a Hispanic woman born in 1970. She has two children named, well, I mean, holy shit. He, he's, there's so much information he's given me. He actually sent me a follow-up email with even more information on it. Probably information I shouldn't have. Tells me where she works, name of the place, what it does. She rents a room at the address that I sent. Call her with the city and tell her something about her living situation. She has to leave or... I don't know. It's just like there's a lot of information here. It's like way too much for me to read all of it. I'm just going to call her up and read the request as it's ringing. Hello? Hi, Margaret. Yes? Hey, this is uh, Gary from Time Warner. Time Warner? Yeah, Time Warner. Hey, we're going to be changing your phone number. You got outbid on your hey. phone number. Who is Time Warner? Uh, it's the, you know, you you got your phone number originally through Time Warner. You know, you sound so much like that guy who plays those pranks. What? What pranks? Because Time Warner used to be Time Warner Cable. Yeah, well, it's the same thing. I was just shortening it. Don't be a dick about it, Jesus. Oh, you sure are that prank guy. What oh, are you talking my about? Gosh. Because the way you're talking to me, I, my dude listens to your pranks every day. Listen, ma'am. Every day. Ma'am, I'm with Time Warner. I'm not, I'm not a prank caller. I'm an adult. <laughs> uh, believe me, if I get him up to come and listen to you, he will, he will verify that is you. Who will? What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? This Don't. nigga finally got me. <laughs> well, I didn't even get you. What are you talking about? Manuel! <laughs> you tell Manuel I'm going to kick his fucking ass. It's not Manuel, pendejo. <laughs> I thought you said Manuel. I said Memo. Memo? What the fuck is Memo? Did you get the Memo, bitch? Your, your mom's a Memo. <laughs> memo, bitch! <laughs> what? I don't like this. Stop pranking me. I'm calling... I'm calling the police on you. Go ahead. I'm dialing the police can, right now. Go ahead. They need to come get my ass. They're going to be over there. And t- I got, you know, my uncles. He's, he's a cop. Memo, man. Man. <laughs> Who is that? Little, is that that fucking dude? Listen to him. Hey, speak. 911. Can I help you? Nine one one. What's your emergency? Yeah. He's prank calling me. <laughs> should he call you? It's him. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm hanging up. This is bullshit. This guy's just sending me numbers of people who know who I am. But holy shit, Margaret was kind of awesome. Hope you enjoy listening to yourself on this show, Margaret. I ought to tell you how much information this memo guy sent because holy shit. It's a good thing I'm not a felon. I might do something with all this information. If I were you, I would just not trust Memo ever again. There, take that, Memo. i going to get you in trouble with that lady. You know, I think I'm just done with the show. I'm mad now. I got pranked. I'm not supposed to get pranked on my own show. This is fucking bullshit. You know what? Because of Memo's submission thing, I'm going to make you all listen to voicemails right now. Hey, Brad. It's Justin from Maryland. Hey, calling you Justin. Using my those headphones so i hope the microphone sounds okay sounds great um question for you i've been listening for a long time but i'm not sure i've ever heard this concept for a show before have you ever just looked at whatever show number it is like let's say like uh, your six four like show 640 and just looked up what area code 640 is i don't think 640 exists I think you're just making that up. It's not a real area code. So I don't know what you're trying to pull. Whatever pranks you were thinking about doing that day, you just called those people people from that that area. Yeah. I've, um, I've, I've thought about doing that, and I just looked up 640. Apparently, it is a real area code. It's in New Jersey. I don't know my newer area codes. I don't think I've ever heard that before, but that's an idea. Maybe just whatever number it is, just call that zone of the United States with that area code that yeah. matches that area code. Let me know if you've ever done that before. Thanks. Uh, I don't think I have. 
And the main reason, I've thought about it, like every time a show number ends up being an area code, I'm like, yeah, I should have called that area code. But the reason that's a bad idea is because of the stupid fucking listeners. They love to look up people that I prank. So I try not to let on even what area I'm pranking usually. And that's why I beep out all of the information from the calls to try and discourage people from tracking the people down that I call and causing problems for me. That's the reason I don't do that. It's everybody else's fault. But on show number 636, I think I'm going to have to do this idea because Apollo sent me an envelope full of business cards from 636. And he said these are for show number 636, so I guess I have to. I have no choice. Hey, Brad. It's the Press Mashed Potatoes again. Hey. I have a question for you. I've been trying to send you a request for some pranks. And every time I try to email you, I get a 550 spam message. Uh, it keeps coming back to me for some reason. I don't know why, though. Uh. So I sent it to you by the prank request form on the Snowpaw Show website. Oh, that's fine. So yeah. I was just making sure you got it. That should work. It's about a bunch of uh, trailer park people I used to live with a while ago. Okay. All right. Keep up the awesome work. I Thanks. love you. Bye. Would a 550 error be my fault? Is that on my end or is that on depressed mashed potatoes end? I'm too lazy to go look up what 550 means. But I do see a request here from yesterday, and it does... Oh, wait, I have I called these people already. I tried to call one of these on today's show, but he wasn't picking up again. Did you not hear the show where I did this? I, it may have been in a hobo sode. Oh, wait, you sent this six days ago. But anyway, yeah, I got your request. It's the one where I was telling a guy that he had to paint his trailer, because he had just painted a beige. I said he had to paint it blue or something. Fluorescent blue or fluorescent green. Let me know if you don't have access to the hobo sodes and I'll send it to you. I mean, I'm assuming it's a hobo sode since I haven't done anything else this week, and I think that happened this week. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was last week. Hey, what's up, Brad? Dozer. I just got some quick facts today on one of my favorite area codes. Hey, Dozer. Uh, it's area it's not that quick because this voicemail is over a minute long. So let's start off God with damn it. Goose Island Brewery Brews and Ale named 312 Urban Wheat Ale and Ooh. 312 Urban Pale Ale. That's I crazy. I don't they'll have to. Uh, also, the Snoop Dogg song, That's That, contains the lyrics, Girl, if you ever in the 312, holla at a playa. It's kind of cool. And okay. uh, on the rap facts, That's Ludacris nice. song, uh, Area Codes, also has 312. Yeah. Is one of, at one of He's got hoes areas. in different area codes. Um, and the Kanye West song, New God Flow, contains the uh, lyric. All right, I hate your voicemail. Thanks for calling in. Those are okay. I guess I'll play just a little bit more. Just a little bit. The world has come to. I'm from the 312. The cops don't. You seem come to put true. a lot of work into this. Don't come true. But his dream sure did, so I don't know what that's I bet you've got a bulletin board with and, um, yarn one last quick pointing at 312. The Chicago Hacking Conference started in 2009, known as ThoughtCon, derived its name from the area code. The first two letters of the word three, the first letter... All right, one. shut up, bye. Sound like a conspiracy hey. person. Dozer. Hey, Brad. Hey. Uh, second time calling. I don't care. And I'm just Get to the out point. this uh, Bold Beast recording uh, app that I believe you recommended. This is not your tech support line. On a Call your own voicemail and listen to yourself. So. I'm just seeing... Call a friend. Like, how's the you just call going? a friend. Maybe I could... Call your mom. Calls. All right, bye. Badad, badad. Badad, badad. Just, just a quick message to hey, say, Nami. Brad, if you type in... Uh, now, how do you find it? Disgusting. Disgusting. On YouTube, you, this new disgusting meme. Type in disgusting meme, and it's uh, and it's really funny. And, and click the first... The first video you see, so it's no. a disgusting meme, and you'll absolutely love it. You'll, you'll hear more from the Scottish people, Brad, and, and I bet your listeners will love it as well. I don't want to hear a disgusting meme, and all I see is a disgusting meme compilation, number one and number two. I'm going to hear the Scottish guy. Yeah, I might do that later, after the voicemails or something. If everyone else wants to do that, go to YouTube.com, search for disgusting meme. I'm not responsible for whatever pops up. I think this is a trick, and I would not do it if I were you. Hey, Brad, this is uh, Chris <coughs> calling out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, mm. I just, I'm kind of a new listener, and I just want to know if Devin has a podcast 
I want to say no, she doesn't. Look, uh, I ain't Devin's goddamn secretary, Chris. She just do the videos. Uh, let me know. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. All right. Devin does have a podcast, but the actual feed, you have to be a Patreon person, you know, a supporter. And I think it's only like a dollar a month because that's what I do and I get the feed. And she also puts her show on her show reel. the last time I checked anyway. Her show's at Mixler.com slash Devin Anus Tart. And you go to the show reel and you can listen to the latest shows. Oh, and God damn it! here's Depressed Mashed Potatoes again. I've already read the transcript, so hey, I know Brad, what this is. I leave a second voicemail, but I answered my own question. I just saw the hobo sode God about damn the trailer it. park, and that Why are you was so hilarious. fucking Thanks impatient? Them, and uh, I guess I'll have to just request with that form that I did on the I guess so. show. Everyone else can email me, though. I even get spam emails at that address, so maybe they're trying to warn you that I'm a spammer? Maybe? I don't know. All right, one last voicemail. There's a lot left, but today was a short show. I'm not going to make you listen to a ton of voicemails. This is a long one, though. This is from Teen Wolf Jesus. Hey, Brad. It's Teen Wolf Jesus. I actually just have a quick question for you. I was listening to... It's not a quick question. uh, ...some of the older stuff. Uh, A long question. I listened to a Phone Losers panel, which you guys did, probably in the early 2000s. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I was wondering, you know, what iteration of Phone Losers is your favorite, is it? The end. I wasn't around, you know, when you first started things up. I've been around for about 10 years or whatever, but yeah. um, was it... It's been you... pretty much non-stop pranks and nothing else for the past 10 years. I guess music, too, but not a lot of music, mostly just pranks. You were doing a lot of the hacking stuff and a lot of the... I don't know, just, like, had the super, like, underground feel when I watched that. And I guess it still does, but do you like those days better, or do you like the, you know, the modern days where you become, like, a master prank caller? Like, what... It's been your very favorite phase of home movies. So I just wanted to ask that. And then I want to say hi to my friend John, who's listening. Fuck you, John. He was a Fuck co-worker, you. and now he never missed the show. Oh, wait, so, he was a anyway. Oh, he's a co-worker? Hope all is well. Thanks, Brad. All right. Fuck you, John. And I'd have to say the current iteration of PLA is definitely my favorite. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was fun back in the, the old zine days in the 90s, writing zines and being homeless and stealing credit cards. Those were the days, and the hacking stuff's fun, but it's just not really my thing anymore. I'll always be interested in it. I really need to go to another DEF CON or a HOPE soon. But what are all the iterations of PLA? Like, was the phone show an iteration, separate from what I'm doing now? I guess it kind of was. I'm definitely enjoying this current one, though. A lot. I hope you guys are, too. I hope this one lasts for a while. I think that's going to do it for today's show. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Most of all the sponsors of today's show, Crooked Alligator, Raiden Digital, Gobi, Icelandic Potato, and four OC TV hobos. The rest of you are okay, but today those are my five favorite people. And if you'd like to help support the show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phonelosers.com slash support. Thanks everybody who's helped support the show. Sorry about the shows this week, okay? I did two hobo sods this week. I completely intended to do two regular snowplow shows this week, but it just didn't happen, and this one that I'm putting out is kind of short and happening at the very last minute. A bunch of bullshit's been happening this week, keeping me from shows. I'll try to make up for it this coming week. Thanks, everybody, for being a listener. I'll see you next time, which will hopefully be tomorrow. So you think that I'm scary With my cute little eyes And open up the bell on your mind Pull up your socks!